A group of researchers are keeping their eyes on the great white sharks that linger off the coast of Santa Barbara County. News Channel reporter Patricia Martellotti explains how their new forecasting system could be used globally. They're one of nature's most feared creatures. If I was face to face with a great white shark, I'd be pretty scared. I mean, they're pretty scary. They can take you out without trying very hard. Known as the largest predatory fish on the planet, great white sharks can grow up to 22 feet long, weigh more than two tons, and travel the coastal waters of all the world's oceans. I always have loved sharks. They're so ecologically important, but they're also beautiful, old, fascinating, and sometimes scary, which draws you in and makes you even more intrigued by them. But did you know these iconic creatures are hanging out at some of Santa Barbara County's most popular beaches? Well, this is Padero Beach in Carpinteria, and it is actually one of the largest juvenile white shark aggregation sites in California due to the warmer temperatures of the water. So you have a whole bunch of wild sharks out there doing their thing, people doing their thing. It's been a story of coexistence at this beach, which is so exciting to us as shark scientists. While many are familiar with the predator because of movies like Jaws, the legendary fish gets a bad rap. We're not only going to have to close the beach, we're going to have to hire somebody to kill the shark. Actually, people are more curious about the sharks than the sharks are curious about people. So our big problem out here is making sure, in fact, that the people don't bother the sharks, not the other way around. Researchers at UC Santa Barbara are developing a formula called Shark Eye, using drones to predict where the sharks will be. When we have forecasts that tell us what weather is coming our way, we want to forecast for what kind of sharks may be coming our way to share the waves in a beach just like this. If the project is successful, they're hoping you'll be able to use an app on your phone to tell if there's a shark out there so you can decide, do you want to go in the water today? We also get nowcasts. We get data on any given day of how many sharks are out there. We text that information to folks in the community that can make good, safe decisions about how to share the waves with sharks. I mean, that could definitely be beneficial. If the app told me they were where I was about to enter, you know, I'd probably think twice about it. The lifeguards, the public safety officials can fly drones just like these, press a button and have the drone essentially tell them how many white sharks are out there and how large are they. If the project works out the way researchers hope it will, beachgoers will be able to tell if the forecast is sunny with a chance of sharks. In Santa Barbara, I'm News Channel reporter Patricia Martellotti.